In this lesson, I will guide you through my thought process behind tapping using the minor pentatonic scale, helping you break away from this single string party trick that everyone knows. and come closer to using multiple strings and pathways across the entire fretboard, like this. Just a heads up, this will require an already established basic tapping technique and some knowledge of the five positions of the minor pentatonic scale. If you don't already know these five positions, then I've already done a series on how to use each position of the minor pentatonic scale and how they fit together. So maybe check that out after this video. The main goal of this lesson is not to simply show you how to play a tapping lick. It's much more to do with how to then use this idea to navigate the entire fretboard which will in turn improve your fretboard memorization and allow you the freedom to create your own tapping licks on the fly using the whole neck of the guitar. So let's get started. First of all, let's establish the role of each hand. So our fretting hand will be using the notes of the minor pentatonic scale position one. And for the purpose of this lesson, I'm gonna to stick to the key of B minor. So that's on the seventh fret of the low E string, which is a B root note. And for our tapping hand, let's skip over position two and focus on position three to create more distance between the intervals we're going to be playing. And from here, we now need to just eliminate these notes from position 3. There's no reason for this, other than it leaves us with a very simple path for our tapping hand to navigate through. At this stage, of course, you will need to combine both the fretting hand and tapping hand to form a playable pattern. For this example, we'll be playing in groups of three, or triplets. So you'll be tapping once per beat, but producing three notes per string. After becoming comfortable with the roll of each hand and the sequence of notes, you'll need to move on to the next level, which is string skipping. The previous triplet exercise got you used to the roll of each hand and playing every note string by string in a sequence. This is great for fretboard navigation and making sure that you understand the rolls of both hands, but it's not that inspiring. So to make this sequence of tap notes less predictable, you'll want to spread out the intervals being played by following a simple string skipping pattern. This being two strings forward, one string back. Here's an example of what that sounds like. Now, if you really wanted to take this idea to the next level, you could simply subdivide our groupings of three into groupings of six. This will immediately double the speed of the tapping sequence, as now you will be playing six notes per beat. To keep time, your tap notes will now not only fall on the down beats, so one, two, three, and four, but also the off beats, so one and two and three and four and. If your muscle memory of the sequence is good enough, this shouldn't feel too difficult to execute. So now, let's focus on the big picture. If you spend any time on this, you will naturally want to explore other areas of the fretboard and different keys. This is incredibly easy to do if you're already familiar with the five positions of the minor pentatonic scale. Simply pick a different path from any one of these positions for your tapping hand to take, and you can even try different starting positions for your fretting hand to use other than the first position. Then simply experiment mixing and matching these combinations until you feel more confident and closer to freely improvising and tapping across the entire fretboard. All the tabs and guitar profiles for this lesson are available to download on my Patreon page linked in the description. And don't forget to leave a like and comment below. I'll see you in the next one.